so hi dear aquarius a very very good evening to you guys this is anjali taro and this is a journal of reading for all the aquarius sun moon venus rising keep in mind this is general it might or might not resonate with you at the first place the second thing the roles can be reversed also the action can be from your side also this is a reading from today till the 21st of july for those who are in complete no contact or no communication and wants to know what's going on on the other side if it is not resonating it's not your story you can just skip the video if you want to be a tarot card reader like me you can start your journey by purchasing my course the link is in the description box for the same if you want to start your self healing journey with hope or no pono but don't know from where to start you can definitely start by purchasing my master class again the link is in the description box for the same and if you want one on one healing sessions or personal readings you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same so let's start aquarius the person that you are in no contact or no communication with their current feelings for you right now at this present moment uh, let's see We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Two of Cups. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords. They want to lie to themselves. Aquarius, this person is continuously lying to themselves. I don't care about Aquarius. I don't even love them. I don't even take. I don't even think about them. What the hell? Who Aquarius? Aquarius is the are the dead or alive or something like that. For some of you, they want to. They feel like they should go ahead with other people and find their happiness somewhere else. even if they know that they will not be able to find it somewhere else at least for the time being so they are trying they, they feel like pretending that they are going to be happy with someone else or something else is a cool thing to do right now they feel like they should go ahead and start looking for other options start exploring other options and maybe just having fun kind of a deal and that that's how they are going to find their another soulmate other soulmate and then no and they know that that's bullshit but they feel like this is the right thing to do even if it feels like shit they feel like this is good let's do it let's try to find uh, love somewhere else or with something else and just pretend to be happy okay so it's like a innocent kind of mistake that they're doing they know that it's a mistake or it's it's something that they should not be doing but they feel like this is the right thing to do this is going to give them the stability kind of a deal so they feel like okay let's do it <laughs> Let's see what this person wants from you from this connection. Like, what are their intentions? We have the World card, the Five of Wands, the Chariot. Their intention is to move on completely from the situation. Their intention is to let go of the drama, let go of the situation because this whole situation is a drama, chaos, and conflict. whenever they are around this situation or or whenever they think about this connection between you and them it's always it always converts into some kind of drama or conflict or chaos and they're like i don't want to be a d i don't want to be a part of this drama anymore i don't want to be a part of this kind of energies anymore so i should better let it go i should better just move on this person wants to move on completely from the situation and start exploring their life as much as they can start being happy start being like a kid connecting with their inner child and be happy with whatever is coming and just be happy in their life and move on from the situation completely this is their intention to move on to get, let go of this drama let go of this fights chaos okay let's see action from this person side if any nope I think this person is trying their best to be happy with other things, other people, other situations, celebrations, parties, going on trips and this and that. But they are strongly strongly against this energy of connecting with you as of now. They are like no, I will do whatever I can do to keep myself busy or happy or distracted, but I'm not going to talk to Aquarius or I'm not going to connect or reconnect with Aquarius because this is too much to deal with or this is a drama or this is uh, insane. so it's like they are like in this energy of okay trying to let it go as much as they can they're like i have to i have to it's like written in the stars kind of a deal for them that this has to let go this has to get out of my life get out of my system i have to start my start living my life to the fullest because enough is enough and it's not in a revengeful way or bad way or something like that it's like they just want to be genuinely happy in their life they just want to move on from the situation because according to them they have given enough time enough energy enough everything to everything to this and they just can't deal with that, with this anymore they are like uh, i can't i because i don't want to anymore it's like 
as of now these are their current energies okay let's see the guidance here for you guys in the situation aquarius i think you know but let me see anyways magician manifest exactly what you want in your love and relationship area aquarius so some days you will be like okay i want this person back some days you will be like i want a soulmate some days you will be like i want something else or someone else please be very very clear and be very very sure about what you really want out of a love and out of your love and relationship area then accordingly the universe is going to present you with these kind of energies and at the same time try to manifest it like uh, with a open heart with a open energy hmm? yeah so yeah thank you so much for tuning in aquarius i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste